Hi everyone, Vicki V here. Um, you know what drives me absolutely insane is the amount of backpacks and coats and paper clutter that comes with back to school or actually the entire back to school um, situation. And it is back to school season here where we live. And um, I wanted to show you what we came up with to keep all of that stuff organized. Um, how we get control and don't lose most of the paperwork. We do lose some. But this is how we stay organized with seven kids, um, five in school, um, and keep everything organized and clean. Uh, I'm going to show you that right after this. All right, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to show you our organization for our um, backpacks and coats and it's nothing fancy it's not gonna cost a lot if you can find it secondhand um, that's what we did I'm gonna show you how we keep track of everything so I'm gonna show you this is our garage actually um, and first what we have here is a um, I guess hooks it's a like a coat rack that we got and I used my label maker to put let's see here um, everybody's name on a hook and so everybody has a place to put their coats and so we never have the coats come into the house they come home from school they take off their coats they drop them right there and then when they're going back to school they know exactly um, where their coat is they're not searching for it in the morning so once they drop their coats off um, here's our so here's our back door just so you kind of can tell we have this is one of those um uh, i guess you would call it almost like a cabinet unit you're i'm not really sure what it's called but you buy those square cube like fabric fabric cube bins to store things like a storage cabinet so what i did is i had my husband cut out one of the shelves here um so that it could be more of a locker style so if you find one of these secondhand like we did, um, it'll really save you some money. So the rules <laughs> for us, I'm not going to show you Remy's because Remy's is not correct. Um, let's show you Isaac. So what we do is the kids come home, they hang up their coats, they take their paperwork and books out, and this is the top cube here, and they place it here for mom. Um, then they, and they empty their backpacks. They put their backpacks here. And then their shoes go down in the bottom because we are a no-shoe household. Um, I'd like to say, well, I'm a little bit of a germaphobe, and I don't want kids' shoes who've walked through a public school, walked through public bathrooms. Um, I don't want that in my house. And so they take their shoes off before they come in. Now, the good thing about this cube up here, so their paperwork is sitting here, right? So once everything settles down, you know, I don't know about you, but like after school is nuts at my house, I call it like crazy time because everybody's running in. They want to show me everything they made, blah, 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 blah. We missed you. Um, get ready, do your chores and go to sports, right? So once everything calms down, I come out and I go through each kid's cubby. This is what I call them is their little cubbies. And I sign any paperwork I need to sign. I look at their homework that they brought home. Um, I hold any news, newsletters. And anything that needs to go back to school, I put right here. And so that way, um, after dinner, the kids can go pack up their backpacks for the next day. So after dinner, I'll say, all right, all your stuff is ready to go. Go pack up your backpacks. And they will just take their paperwork, their books, um, anything out of here, put it in their backpack. That way, in the morning, they just have to grab their lunch, throw it in, in their backpack. They know where their shoes are. Their shoes are already down here. And they are ready to go to school. So that is our really easy um, organization. This, I mean, I would love to have a mudroom, but we were not blessed with a mudroom. So this is how we did it, is we... Um, just grab a second hand of the, you know, I don't even know what you would call this piece of furniture, but it, you hold, it holds those cubes, those fabric cubes for storage, and we made it into what we needed. So be creative. It really helps to keep everything outside. Um, 
I, I love that their backpacks stay out. So like during cold and flu season, or if you're concerned about coronavirus, um, this stuff is not coming into my house. So once my kids drop off their backpacks and their paperwork, they come in and they are supposed to wash their hands immediately. We started that after Axel was born. When you walk in the house, you wash your hands. Um, and that has actually, knock on wood, kept us pretty healthy. Um, but as I said, we did not spend a lot. I would love for this area to look nicer. I've talked about painting it and making it look like a nice entrance to our home, but there's been priorities that we haven't gotten to that yet. So, um, but that's it. It's very simple. They keep their stuff outside and it's organized. They know where all of their belongings are. They know where it goes. And um, that's it just works so well for us to not have clutter in the house and not lose paperwork. Um, because before I was forgetting about field trips, I was forgetting about everything. And that way, now we have, we made sure all the paperwork's there, all the newsletters are there, whatever we need is in their cubby. So that works really well for us. I hope that it helps you out. It helps you organize your kids' school stuff so that you don't feel like out of control. Um, because I know when my things aren't organized, I feel out of control and almost like anxiety. Um, so that's what works for us. If you like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get notifications whenever I upload a new video. Also, I'm very, very close to 100 subscribers. So when I hit 100 subscribers, I will be raffling off to one of you wonderful subscribers a brand new 4D mascara from Unique. Um, so go ahead and subscribe so you can be entered into that drawing when I hit 100 subscribers. Um, also, if you love my tips, go ahead and share my videos so more people can enjoy them. I will talk to you later. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.